I was halfway through the shower and pop, <laughs> the light turned off. I was in the shower in the dark and it's really dark out here. <laughs> That's like grab my towel. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad. <laughs> what an experience. <laughs> Episode 89, and welcome to the middle of nowhere. Two hundred and sixty kilometres that way. Came well on the Queensland Northern Territory border. Two hundred and twenty kilometres that way, Tennant Creek. And right here, not much. The Buckley Roadhouse and nothing else. Let's go for a walk and have a chat. One of these funny little termite nests that we've seen everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, that road train in the light, it's beautiful. Well, I don't know why, but being out here at the Barclay Homestead reminded me of a long distance walk I was doing with a friend of mine, Martin. G'day mate, if you ever see this. Um, where we were walking this 300 kilometer walking trail um, around the coastline of uh, Wales, the Pembrokeshire Coast Track, which is an amazing piece of countryside. And also in some ways so isolated in very different ways to this. Here, you know, obviously so flat and remote and everything. But there, like the towering cliffs and, you know, dropping down into the ocean and stuff like that. It was really quite stunning, rugged, ruthless landscape too. And this one afternoon, we were um, we were stopped to camp just outside a little town. And this old bloke um, came up to us, we're like at our camp, so we're not far outside town, on the trail. And he says to us, oh, you guys are walking the Pembrokeshire coast track. We said, yeah, yeah. He said, you know what? It's hard camping. Why don't, why don't you come and stay at my place? I've got this like fully self-contained unit, hot showers, nice beds. You guys just come here and stay here for free for the night. And uh, yeah, it'll be great. Anyway, by, by this stage, we'd been on the road for about a week or so. So we weren't very, <laughs> the idea of having like an actual bed and um, you know, a shower and stuff was pretty nice. So we were like, okay, yeah, we'll come down. We packed up our stuff and went down to um, meet this bloke and go to his house. We went to the door of the house that he'd named because it was like the first, first house that you came to when you came into town. And we like knocked on the door and he came and he opened it. Hello. And he just looked at us like with this look of no recognition. And we we're like, hi, um, we just saw you on the trail and you... <laughs> long story short, this poor old bloke, it was obviously like his little money spinner, his little B&B kind of cottage in the back, but um, it wasn't being used that day. And uh, he'd kind of just lost his, um, lost his memory. And so literally for about three hours that evening, this old, old battler told us the same stories over and over and over again. So yes, we had like nice comfortable warm beds and a shower, but there was a trade off. <laughs> that was a very long evening. The homestead here's been here since about the 1980s. In fact, prior to that, there was like one sort of station roadhouse about 100 k's that way, and then another one about 100 kilometers that way. And back in the 80s, they knocked both of those down and they consolidated it here on this site. I guess um, having two stops on one incredibly remote piece of highway probably was, was too much competition, so to speak. And so this made it a lot more economical. Um, it is, it's actually just a standalone business. Uh, it doesn't have like a cattle property attached to it or anything like that. Although we are surrounded by an enormous cattle property um, that's owned by other people. What's impressive about uh, the Barclay Homestead Roadhouse is uh, the fact that they are basically fully self-sufficient here. Um, they bore their own water and they generate their own electricity and that electricity <laughs> 
comes from essentially burning about 500 to 700 liters of diesel every single day, which is a lot, <laughs> a lot of diesel. As a result, you know, prices here, pretty expensive. I mean, not compared to Sydney prices, quite honestly. Diesel's about $1.80 a litre at time of filming, um, which is like 50% more expensive than anywhere else we've been so far on this trip. But honestly, inside the roadhouse, like stuff for food and souvenirs and stuff is no more expensive than you find elsewhere. So yeah, it's all a matter of perspective, isn't it? I had a funny incident last night. I was um, taking a shower and shaving in the amenities block here at the campground. And you know, it's got one of those buttons that you push to turn the lights on. And so pushed the button, turned on the lights, and you know, was then shaving and then got in the shower. <laughs> and because I, you know, shaving takes some time, I was halfway through the shower and pop, <laughs> the light turned off. I was in the shower in the dark, and it's really dark out here. <laughs> That's like <all> grabbed my towel. <laughs> oh, <I'm> so bad. <laughs> what an experience. There's something special about these places places in the middle of nowhere it's kind of like you feel small and unimportant and also unique and extremely valuable both at the same time I guess what I've learned from being in places like this in the middle of nowhere whether it's here the Barclay Homestead Roadhouse whether it's been on the Pembrokeshire Coast Walk or the Great North Walk or cycling 5,000 kilometers across Europe in two months or in the mountains of Nepal I know it's always the same it's like we tend to get stuck in the middle of our lives when you know you're in busy places and like coming out here into the middle of nowhere just teaches you it's just us and the sky grounded to the earth and it doesn't matter like every day is a beautiful day so like don't sweat the small stuff don't sweat small stuff we're on the road today heading for Tennant Creek whatever you're getting up to I hope it's an awesome one I'll see you next time on the morning walk thanks for joining me